Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to be filming today. I did not get to upload none, no videos this past week. It was because I was in an awful, awful funk. I do battle depression and anxiety. It is awful. If you also have that battle and you go through the daily struggles, I pray for you. We have to pray for each other. Just be strong, guys. We got to mentally be strong and we can overcome it. It is Sunday evening. I just got home from church. I got my belly full and I wanted to see sit down and film a video for you guys and I'm going to be filming the most highly requested video on my channel if I held my hand still I don't think I could talk let's see if I can just hold them like this and let's see if I can talk see how long it takes for me to be moving them again um you guys are constantly I have people asking me about my uh, empties videos trash talk so I thought today let's just go ahead and do a volume three of trash talk because my little trash bin is getting rather full and whoop, what I have come to find in the past is this I let this sucker get like this deep those trash talk videos are like two days long so this is a good ending point right here so we'll go ahead and start talking about my trash products and I'll give you my two cents on each product so if you are one of the other hundreds of people who always are requesting when are you gonna do another empties video then today is your day baby so let's get started okay, so in in normal form no particular order I'm just gonna start grabbing products all right first product I have this is the caress daily silk silkening body wash this one was the white peach orange blossom and silk essence um i did like this body wash i was kind of iffy about this body wash because when i was younger i was allergic to caress bar soap um so as an adult now i haven't used caress in like 30 years or so i mean literally probably 28 plus years um but this one i don't know every time i go to the drugstore these caress body washes stand out to me so i thought i would pick it up and give it a whirl and if i'm still yet allergic to some of the ingredients in this then my kids could use it and i would just have to buy a different one but to my surprise i did not have any kind of allergic reaction to this whatsoever i love this body wash oh, it smells so clean and just so girly and just so nice i love these this body wash so i'm really excited to branch out and try some of the other scents from the crest body wash lines all right next um if you watched my last empties video i had the kenra volumizing shampoo and in that video i was talking about how i still had some of the conditioner left um, I always use up my shampoos before my conditioner, blah, blah, blah. So, this time, I have the conditioner. And just like the shampoo, I don't see anything that is so, gosh dang, like, remarkable about this shampoo and conditioner line. I mean, these are rather pricey for shampoo and, con and a conditioner. Um, you can get a whole lot more pricier ones. But, I mean, to me, I don't know. I just think the shampoos and, and the conditioners from the drugstore do this do just as well as these high-end ones um yeah i liked it it wasn't nothing special and i wouldn't purchase this again if this was um you know if these were like two dollars a bottle i would not purchase it because i just did not see it do any kind of results that makes me want to just go back and buy the kenra shampoo and conditioner so i'm sorry but eh. all right next um, this is the Pantene Repair and Protect Dream Care Shampoo. I love this. I have never been able to use Pantene in my younger years. I always experienced a lot of hair loss when I would use Pantene products. Now, this is back in my, my teenage years, my early adult years. Um, and Scott actually is the one that picked this up and brought it home. And I was like, great, Pantene, I'm going to be bald in two weeks. But... I didn't I did not experience no hair loss whatsoever. I feel like this did an amazing job. This did it's lathered so so well on my hair. My hair felt clean and it was just very soft and manageable and not only mine, my daughter's hair, Destiny, um, she's got the very naturally curly 
thick, frizzy, unmanageable hair, and it did really, really well with her hair also. Now, he did not pick up the conditioner because he's a dude, and obviously, he doesn't realize that we need conditioner too, us girls, but as far as the shampoo, I really, really did enjoy this shampoo. Right, so, next, I picked this up from Meyer. Um, this is the Method C Minerals Naturally der Derived Hand Wash. That's a mouthful. Um, I'll just be honest. The bottle, the shape of the bottle is what caught my attention. It's just hand soap. I like to keep hand soaps at my bathroom sink, at my kitchen sink. Because um, I have four kids and we're constantly, you know, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Little, little germ monsters. Um, but I actually had two of these and I threw the first bottle away. Um, it's a hand soap. It did excellent. I think it was like $2. Um, yeah, I would repurchase it, but... The dial one's for a dollar at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, whatever. It's just a hand soap. You know, it's nothing that's like miraculous. It's good. Yeah, I'd buy it again. Alright, next I have another Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea empty. Um, if you have watched any of my videos whatsoever, you will know this is my number one beauty product ever. I love this. I... Do not ever, you will not catch me without this stuff. This stuff is just, ugh, I don't have words. Amazing is an understatement as to how I feel about this facial spray. So, this is $7. If you still have not tried this, what are you waiting for? Order this. Go pick it up at Ulta. This stuff is amazing. Next, I have my Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. <coughs> It breaks my heart when my Drunk Elephant products start getting lower and lower and lower and then they get empty because I'm like, <laughs> I don't have the money to repurchase. And I don't. I can't repurchase this one right now. This is $52. I will get it, you know, here soon. But right now, no, not in the budget to repurchase this. I love this. I think this does an excellent job of hydrating my face. If you have oily skin, this would be really, really, really good for you because it's a gel. It's not a cream or a lotion. It's not oil-based. This is water-based. So, it will not make your oil, um, it will not cause your oil to be, you know, excessive at all. This will keep it at bay, if anything. This will really help you oily skin girls. But I am a normal skin girl and this just, I found, this just, this is a product that really made me fall in love with skincare. That's the only way to say it. When I purchased this and I started using this and I seen the results that my face was going through, that's what made me dive in head first. This product right here. I love this. This is so, so good. I highly recommend it. If it is in your budget and you are looking for a really good moisturizer for your face, I really, really recommend this um, Be Hydra Hydration Gel from Drunk Elephant. Next, I have a, this is the Merle Norman Dual Action Eye Makeup Remover. Um, nothing really special. I mean, it's a makeup remover. This one's a little bit more on the pricey side because it is Merle Norman, but this one reminds me a lot of the Sephora makeup remover. Um, but honestly, you can get makeup removers at the drugstore that do just as well, so I'm not going to say run out and find your nearest Merle Norman distributor and purchase this makeup remover. It is good, but there's other ones a lot cheaper that do just as good. All right. Next, I have, this is from the Bath and Body Works. This is, I do not know how to say this, T-U-T-T-I-D-O-L-C-I, Tutti Dolce, I don't know. But this is the Golden Honey Praline, the Creamy Body Wash. I have the body wash, and then I have the lotion, and I have the spray. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite scents that I have found this year from Bath and Body Works. I'm almost out of the lotion. Um, this stuff smells, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's a good fall scent too. I've used it all summer. Um, creamy caramel and praline musk drizzled in golden honey. Mmm, honey, this smells really good. Go smell this at Bath and Body Works and pick it up. Yes, I would definitely recommend this to you guys. I will be getting more of this. Hopefully, they still have it. Um, I bought this around April, May, I'm thinking. So, hopefully, they still have this in stores because I do want more of this. Okay, next looks like I have a uh, sucker wrapper. 
one of my kids must have thought they could throw their empties in my empty hand. Okay, next I had the Clinique Even Better Skinical, Skinical, Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and Optimizer. Um, this, I, I started using this when I was trying to battle these dark spots and their acne scars is what they are. I got so much acne under here for the longest time, just right here in this area. And I still sometimes, I got a spot, you know, a couple spots going on right now. It's like a constant struggle under there. I don't know what the deal is, but um, that is why I started using this. I wanted something to combat those dark spots because I'm really um, insecure about them. And I like this, and I thought it was doing, you know, really good. But after I got done with this entire bottle, and I still see those, I was like, you know, pretty sure that this is just a gimmick because if it was going to get rid of them, I think it would have, you know, done more results than what it actually did. This is supposed to be the number one dark spot corrector out there. That is what I've been told by Clinique representatives. Um, and yes, I did notice results. I did see it doing its job, but I just feel like after I went through this whole bottle and still it's not lighting them en up enough where I have made an updated video for you guys, I'm a little iffy on it. So I'm kind of up in the air on whether or not I would recommend this. Um, I have a drugstore version dark spot corrector that I'm using right now, and we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to maybe do a comparative video um, with this versus my drugstore because I do have photos along the way you know before and after you know from this product so I'm going to kind of just leave this one in limbo it isn't empty do I recommend it I don't want to give you a recommendation yet let's see how well the drugstore one works before I recommend that one to you or not okay. next let's go through some of these masks right here um, first of all, I have the Bio Republic Aloe Rescue Sheet Mask. Loved it. Felt amazing on my face. Um, then I have the Bio Republic Green Tea Detox Skin Mask. This one was okay too. Probably wouldn't repurchase this one. Um, if I had to choose, I would definitely go with the Aloe one. I thought this one just, oh, this felt good. It made my skin feel so, so good on my face. Um, and then this one, this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb. This is the pink one with chamomile and hyaluronic acid. Love it. Favorite drugstore sheet mask out there. Um, absolutely love this one. So, yes, I would recommend that one to you guys. Next, I have my e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. I love this stuff. I will just be honest with you. I have went through several high-end eye creams and... This one stands right up there with them. This one is, I'm going to say $10. It's right around $10. I'm not really sure on the price of it, but it's e.l.f., so it's not that costly. Maybe $12, but <coughs> I, I definitely would recommend this to you guys. I definitely will be repurchasing this. I think this did just an absolute wonderful job at keeping my eye area nice and moisturized and, you know, just made, made that area feel alive. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So, yes, I do like the e.l.f. eye creams. I absolutely recommend it 100%. Next, I have the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Do I recommend this to you all? If you've got the money to blow to buy this product, <sighs> it's like $54 for this. This is a body lotion. It's supposed to be tightening. It's supposed to help tighten and smooth your skin like no other. I can't say that I noticed any kind of tightening, any kind of smoothing whatsoever. The only thing I noticed was the smell of this. If I could find a cheaper lotion that has this smell, I would never, never consider buying this stuff again. I'll just be honest. It's just a very, it's very moisturizing lotion. It's very good. The smell is amazing. It's out of this world. There's nothing compared to it. But when it gets down to it, how much this stuff costs, it's hard for me to say, yeah, I recommend this to you because it's just a lotion. You know what I mean? It didn't do nothing that I noticed that blew my socks off. So if you've got the extra money to spend on this stuff, then yeah, I recommend it. But if not, if you're on a budget, don't buy this. It's just lotion. Next, I have my Madam C.J. Walker Beauty Culture 
wonderful deep conditioning mask. I got this in my Sephora play box. I think this stuff is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. If you can get on Sephora and order the full size, do it. If you are having Oh, I just think it smells amazing. If you have like unmanageable, unruly hair, this stuff is going to work really well for you. This made my hair feel ungodly soft. I mean, my hair is just, my hair is very manageable. I do not have stubborn hair at all. I washed my hair this morning. I did not blow it dry. I did not straighten it. It is straight as a stick. It is soft. It just does its thing. But I like to base my hair products off of Destiny. She's my, my little guinea pig because she has got terrible hair and this stuff did really good with her hair. Now, if a product will work with her hair, then I give it a major thumbs up because I have been through hundreds of products trying to find something to help that child's hair and I have had so many that flopped. So when I find one that really, really works, I really want to run in here and jump on the camera and tell y'all about it because if it works for her, it's going to work for you. Believe me. And this, this little deep conditioning, mm, yes, this is really, really good. And if it does that good for her hair, you can imagine what it does for my hair and anybody else who's just got like normal, thin, even fine hair. Yes, this stuff is great. Okay, next I have my Nudu Natural Beauty. This is my reviving toner. This is excellent. This is one of the best toners ever. I have to believe that. I do. I have to believe that. This is definitely one of the best toners I've ever used in my life. I love it. I love the way it made my skin feel. I love the results it gave me. Love this stuff. Yes. I want my basket down here because I'm running out of room. Okay, here we have... This is the Bare Minimal, this is the Bare Minerals, uh, this is the G Gentle Deep Cleansing Foam and the Essential Moisturizing Soft Cream and also have the Vital Power Infusion. This is a little set of three that I got in my sample, maybe from Ulta or Sephora or something. I have got these several times. I mean, probably 15 or more times I've got this little three set and I get really excited when I get it because I love this little trio. I need to purchase the full size, but um, just by using this little trio, I've used it so many times. Love, love, love this stuff. Wow! And there went my garbage everywhere. Right. Next product, I have the Olay Henriksen Truth Serum. This looks like it has more in it. Maybe not. Hmm. Um, this is the Truth Serum. This says it is collagen boosted with True C Complex. That's all it says. Uh, this is a facial serum. I really, really like this. I don't like the scent of this because it smells like citrus. I am not a citrus person. I'm sorry, guys. If you are, do you, boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I just don't like the smell of citrus. I just, ugh, I just don't. Um, but I really, I do like the actual product itself. It does remind me of the Drunk Elephant um, C Firma. What is that stuff called? See, for my day serum, it's the same thing, basically, um, just different scents. I do like the Drunk Elephant one just a little bit better, but if I had, if I couldn't get the Drunk Elephant one, I would go for this one, the Olay Hendrickson. I think it did a really, really fine job um, of what it was supposed to do, and yeah, I really like this. Next, I just have a couple of the Bath & Body Works. This is the, the little um, hand sanitizer, a little pocket back. Um, the coconut pumpkin latte, that's like, ooh, one of my favorite fall ones. This is Dazzling Diamond. Like those. I really like those a lot. We go through those, honey, like candy. My house. Um, all right. Next, this is the Pantene. This is a sample that a lady gave me at Walmart one day. You know, when you run out of shampoo and conditioner, you got to go to your sample basket and pull out something. So, I did that one evening. This is the Pantene Pro-V. Uh, Dream Care Shampoo and the Conditioner, 3-Minute Miracle, it says. Um, yeah, I like these. I only use it uh, one time in my hair. I use it a couple times in my kids' hair. Um, but, yeah, did a fine job. Shampoo and conditioner. I have no complaints whatsoever about it. 
Um, next, I have, what is this? This is the same thing. Yeah, same kind of thing. This is the Rahua Voluminous Shampoo and the Conditioner. Another top scenario thing there. Out of shampoo and conditioner. Had to come pull a sample. Um, I do remember I liked the way this one smelled. I thought it did a really good job um, with my hair. But, once again, it's shampoo and conditioner. It got my hair clean. It conditioned it. There's nothing else that really jumps out in my mind that I need to say about uh, that. And here's another one. This is the OGX Quenching Coconut Curls of Shampoo. And I had the conditioner. I think I dropped it. it probably fell out of my basket. Um, anyway, yep. Yeah, same thing. And it then works. lastly, I have the Josie, Josie Marin whipped argan oil face butter this is just a, like a little deluxe sample i think i got this um from sephora i don't know if i cashed in some points or i don't know i absolutely loved this stuff i want to buy the full size um this made my face feel so nice and so soft i put this on before i went to bed i just I loved this. This felt so luxurious and just so nice. So I want to order the full size of that so I can give it more of a go. Um, and let you, and you know then I can then I'll be able to tell you guys more of a thorough review on that. Um, but just by that little deluxe sample, and I used it quite a few times. I mean, there there's quite a few uses out of those little deluxe samples. I really, really, really enjoyed that. I hope that, you so. enjoyed this video. I hope you. Um, if you have any questions on any of these products that I mentioned today, um, just let me know. Let me know down in the comment section. I love talking to you guys down there. If I had a product here and I didn't really hit all the um, points, you know, if you had a question about it and I didn't answer it, just ask me and I'll let you know what I thought about whatever it is that you're wanting to know. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it informative, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up before you leave. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me um, when my channel grows. I just, I love watching it slowly grow. Um, I have met so many wonderful people along this YouTube journey. I feel like I've said this before. And I probably have. I've probably said it several times, actually. But I've met so many wonderful people since I have started this YouTube channel. In my days of depression, when I am down and out, like, it's so odd how one of you all will message me and be like, you're on my mind. And, you know, I've been praying for you. You guys, my subscribers, I have to believe with my whole heart that I got the best subscribers of any channel on YouTube. You guys are so supportive and so caring and you're always there for me. And I love you. I have grown to love each and every one of you that interact with me um, constantly. I do. I have very, I care for you guys with my heart. I love you. I'm so grateful that I have got to meet you along this journey. I hope one day we can all meet up somewhere. We'll just find like a, a center point in the country or in the world, whatever, and everybody come to it. And we just meet, and I just think that would just be so awesome. But anyway, my battery is clicking up there, so my camera is about to die. So, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.